G'day, welcome to another Visions of Chaos tutorial. This tutorial is all about printing Mandelbrot fractals across multiple pages to make large wall size posters. The final resolution of the printed fractal image is very high definition and looks great on any wall. You can print black and white or colour depending on your printer. So let's get started. The first thing to do when you start Visions of Chaos is to make sure that the printer setup is pointing to the printer you want to print the poster to. And then select the Mandelbrot mode. You can then zoom in as normal, looking for any location you want to print out across multiple pages. But for this demonstration, we will use one of the preset files that I include with Visions of Chaos. So if you scroll down, we'll use print test nine. Okay, so this is suitable for a black and white printer. Using this stripe palette looks really nice and printed. And although you see just a random static here, once this prints across multiple pages, you get really fine detail in there and it looks superb on a wall. So once you have the location, click the generate button again and click on this BMP printing tab. And here you'll see the multiple page tile poster button. Click on that. And now you have the various settings. So the main thing that you want to do is set the preset dimensions to match the current printer, which it does by default. And what this guarantees is that each fractal pixel matches the individual printer resolution pixels. So that means the output image will be the highest possible for your printer, which is how it gets these two values for horizontal and vertical pixels here. These are actually the printer resolution. And then you've got your horizontal pages and vertical pages. If you are printing the pages in portrait mode, going three by two gives you a roughly square output. With your first test print, it's good to just do a small one with three by two pages. So then you just click OK. So the Visions of Chaos image resizes to the printer resolution and starts to generate the first tile. You can see up here generating tile one of six and you can scroll down and across to see the progress. So all you have to do now is wait for these six pages to print out. And so I'll jump through this and be back when the pages have finished generating. Okay, so the last page six is just finishing up printing now. Your printer should have printed the five pages as it went along, and this will be the last page. And once it all finishes, you'll get this little stat window telling you how long it took. In my case, it was 18 and a half minutes. Since the tiled mode doesn't use the GPU for speed up, it has to fall back to CPU processing, so it takes a little while, but it's all hands free, so let it just run until it's done. Okay. Once you have the six pages, lay them out and just get a general idea of where each page sits. If you go from left to right and top to bottom and you lay them out flat like this, you will see which page goes where. The next step is to cut the edges of the pages which lay over another page. If you have a printer that can print to the edge of each page, you will notice that the sides that need cutting will be marked trim here. If you have a cheaper printer like mine, you have to cut the sides by following this guide. So this first page, you cut the right side because that edge is then glued to this white edge of the next page. The same thing here, you cut the right edge, which glues onto the white strip of this next page. Note this top corner page has got no edges cut. And then this bottom 
row here is top edge to glue onto this white strip, right edge to glue onto this white strip. Same again here, top edge to glue to this white strip, right edge to glue to this white strip. So once you have glued the top row, then it all joins up like that. And then you can glue the second row. If you've got multiple rows, then just follow this same last row pattern the whole way down. Because if you picture this with three or four rows, rows two, three, and four will all be the same edges cut because they all have that cut top edge that glues onto the white of the row above. And so with just our two row example here, those two rows are now glued together. And then finally you glue the bottom row to the top row and you're done. So hopefully that's not too difficult to follow. After you've done it a few times and you've also cut wrong sides, which I've done many a time, you will have some nice posters. If you've got a colour printer with some decent quality photo paper, you can really make some nice looking posters. And I think that about covers it for this short tutorial. I hope this helped if you're trying to do some large scale printouts across multiple pages. So far, my largest printout has been nine pages across by six pages down. The final size comes out to approximately two meters by two meters. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.